Let's get to another potentially hardcore fight. Let's be honest about it. Gary Russell Jr. versus King Tug. Tug is at Nambar set for February 8th on Showtime. Or... I don't, I don't know how we're going to view this one, guys. It's going to be interesting. Um, I mean, is this a, a good fight? Is it... I know it was, in a way, mandatory, but is it a good mandatory for Gary Russell Jr.? Is it a good fight? Is it a good pickup for Showtime? And, you know, the long narrative of 2019 being Showtime is slowly getting out of boxing. Um, thoughts on Russell versus King Tug here, Gary? A fight that, I'll be honest, I personally love. I've always been a fan of King Tug as a fighter. I've always been a little bit of a, a stand for him since the amateur days. So, I like the matchup. But I know it's a hardcore fight. No, it, it's a good, it's for a hardcore, uh, it's a great fight. Um, I I think Gary Russell is extremely talented. I think he has one of the best skill sets and one of, all, one of the best all around games in boxing. That being said, this fighting once a year thing is not going to work and I'm not picking him to lose. I'm going to officially pick him to win, but this could be when it's like, okay, he goes to the well. It's just not there anymore because you don't, you're not in the ring much. You're not as young as he's not old. I think he's 32. Like he's not old, but he's not young anymore either. And like, it's just not there for you. This, you go to, you go back to the well and and you just can't find it. And this could be the fight. He loses. I I wish he fought twice a year, but he's not gonna like, he's been doing this since like 2015 fighting once a year, which is what he is. Yeah, interesting way to to frame it in the the X factor of is Gary Russell's lack of momentum a long term issue that's eventually going to appear in a fight? Probably, right? Because inactivity, I think, is to a degree like you're you don't you're not firing on all cylinders if you're just being too inactive. Now I don't know how he's training. I don't know how often he's sparring. I don't know who he's sparring with. You know, like those are those are things that if I knew the answers, maybe it wouldn't be an issue, right? In my mind, because he's still fighting decent competition each time he fights. It's not like he's fighting just a tune-up once a year. He's fighting relatively decent competition each time he goes out. And King Tug is one of those guys that's resurging. That it, 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 uh, not resurging. He's just surging as a prospect and younger. Has obviously, I think, maybe a potentially higher ceiling. But surprisingly, I think Gary Russell actually fought more recently than King Tug. I think King Tug has actually been a little bit inactive in the last year. I could be wrong about that, but I want to say I'm right about that. Uh, so actually in this matchup, Gary, Gary Russell is going to be more active than his opponent. I believe. Like 99.9% sure. That is... <laughs> That's like when Pacquiao fought Thurman. Like, it's too, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, that's 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 wild. I, I'm and I'm, I'm picking Russell. R- Russell's a better fighter. Russell, I think, is extremely skilled. He's, I, he, I, I love argu- Russell. Arguably, he's the best featherweight still. I think skill wise, he is the best featherweight now. Yeah, if I had to pick one guy to win, run the table, I, I would say it would be Russell. Not that I don't. If there's but, a World Boxing Super Series right now with all the top eight guys in the division, my. F- Favorite would be either Gary Russell or Shakur Stevenson, right? I would pick Russell, like just based on the experience, the know-how. I yeah. mean, he's been through those fights before. Yeah, agree. Um, do you think it's a good pickup for Showtime though? Is it going to stop the the Showtime is dying? Showtime boxing is dying. Narrative of 2019. These types of fights. No, Fox didn't want it because no one even remembers who Gary Russell is because he's so inactive. So Fox got it by default. I mean, show, Showtime kind of by default. And if you look at the Danny Garcia Red Catch card with, um, oh God, we forgot to talk about that. Jared Hurd is back against Francisco Santana. Ooh, that that fight's rough. He's fighting a, a welterweight. Ugh, why? Um, Showtime is gonna have a rough 2020, probably as well. Right? Like I don't I don't see that pendulum swinging back. The writing's on the wall. This is going the way of HBO. I'm not like when you saw HBO, the only thing they had was Canelo pay per views, and they had Lucas Matisse against some uh, Thai guy who took a dive. Like that's all they had, and then they had Jacobs and and uh, Devorchenko. But it's like he giving me like five shows this entire year, and they really weren't good. Like that's what's happening to Showtime now. 
another year or two Showtime will be done with boxing if Fox continues to do this to them. Like, Fox is putting them out. You know what I'm saying? Fox is putting Showtime out of boxing. 